Greetings, YouTube. I had a random request in the last 24 hours, but it's a really good request, and it's one that I haven't really ever talked about in a video, and so that is why this video exists. I've taken the time out to kind of uh, specify something that quite a few people have messaged me about. You see, the great thing about peak milestones, and it's one of the best things to happen to Marvel Contest of Champions in 2018, and Kabam deserves full credit for this, is that we have more energy refills at our disposal than ever before. So that's giving the average player more incentive to complete beginner and normal difficulties for the monthly quests that maybe you wouldn't do before because you just didn't want to use the energy or you didn't want to waste units on energy refills. Might as well use them. You got them, right? So I have been asked by just a couple of people, but maybe this applies to you. I don't know. Uh, Prof, I plan on turning my brain off and just completing these. I want the units. And if you've got energy refills, you might as well get free units from completing at least the initial exploration and completion of those um, chapters. You know, the first couple are going to cost you one energy per chapter per node. So it's not going to be a ton of energy, especially if you start with beginner. So the question is, Prof, I want to turn my brain off. I want everything to be on auto fight. And I want to know what champions are the best to use for auto fight. Now, so for someone like myself, this is kind of irrelevant because every champion I have over the PI of even 5,000, maybe even 4,000 is, is going to wreck people regardless because you're going up against enemies in those first couple who who surely are not above 500 or maybe 1,000 PI. But that doesn't matter. What matters is, Prof, what champions are going to be the best to auto fight that I can relax and know that when I set it to auto fight, I'm not going to get wrecked. Now, this is not a guaranteed system, and, and certainly there are going to be pluses and minuses, and I'll go through this. So I, I wanted to take... Uh, just a little bit of time to go through each class and talk about my thoughts. And some of these options are going to be very obvious, and some of these are going to be maybe not so obvious. And I wanted to start with the Mystic class because two of the best champions to auto fight once awakened are Juggernaut and Mr. Unstoppable Colossus. Again, when awakened, my four star is, but my five star, not so much. Uh, why is that? Prof. Well, they are unstoppable at the start of the fight. So auto fight is kind of lazy, right? They try to attack. Auto fight's not going to parry and then counter. It's not that advanced in AI. And so because of that, you could easily get hit the first couple of combos in an auto fight and lose health. So the unstoppable uh, effect for Unstoppable Colossus when awakened and Juggernaut when awakened prevents you from slowing down your combo when you get hit. And that easily will win you so many fights. This is also the reason why my Juggernaut back in the day was my best counter against the Collector in Act 5, Chapter 2. It's crazy for me to think about that now because my roster has advanced so much, but at the same time, it was what it was. So the Unstoppable feature at the beginning of a match on auto fight is really, really helpful. And those are the two champs, believe it or not, that I wanted to highlight most in the Mystic class above you know, the normal suspects like Ghost Rider and Voodoo and Magic uh, and Scarlet Witch. So yeah, the Unstoppable. Maybe didn't see that coming, uh, but hey, it is what it is, right? Okay, so in the Tech class, what are some underrated auto... Um, Autoplay champions, right? Well, first and foremost, I have to say that you're going to want to use champions that have a decent amount of health. Seems pretty obvious, right? Uh, I do think that there is a tendency to want to have champs with the best attack, but their health can be compromised. You wouldn't want to use a rocket raccoon in this case. If you have them awakened, especially OG Vision, he would be a great uh, auto fight champ because you start with that power gain and for a high sig level you're automatically going to have that special one trigger and that could be pretty helpful even bleed causing champs like ultron would be nice uh, but you're not going to have someone like star lord have nearly as much value because you're not going to build up a combo when you auto fight you're going to get hit they're going to get hit so really i still prefer Juggernaut and Unstoppable Colossus over most of these tech champs for that very reason. And, you know, if Hulkbuster actually could take a hit more, 
This was before willpower was nerfed. He was pretty good. I will say, if you want somebody that's going to be my honorable mention for the top auto fight tech champ, believe it or not, it's this guy. It's the Sentinel. Between the uh, immunities and uh, just how much he gains in, in analysis, he's a good auto fighter. I'll say that. So... It's a different kind of list. I, I'm really enjoying this video because I like doing videos where you just don't hear the same top tier champs over and over again. However, I'm going to make an exception for the Cosmic class in three main ways. The top three Cosmic champs are Hyperion, Corvus Glaive, and Medusa. And I'm sticking to that. Yes, there are several honorable mentions even now with Carnage and Venom. Uh, but I believe... It's fairly non-controversial to say Hype, Medusa, and Corvus are still the top three. And Corvus is an amazing auto fight champ because hopefully your Corvus will be high enough and doesn't need to be awakened to cause critical hits on the guaranteed first 20 hits that he uses. So you, the enemy should be dead long before he runs out of those. So you're going to have easily 20 great hits in you. And then, of course, that resets every fight. But auto block champs are also very valuable when it comes to auto fighting. And Medusa, of course, is one of the, if not the best, auto block champion. So if you're going to get hit on an auto fight and Medusa is awakened, you have the ability to counter. And that is nice and just stress free. Hyperion is really, really good simply because of the power gain. Probably in an auto fight setting won't actually activate his heavy attack, but you're still going to get off special ones and special twos awfully quickly while you are sipping your maybe non-alcoholic drink. If you're a middle schooler, not sure why I'm uh, bringing that scenario up. Two very um, good honorable mentions, highly underrated champs in this class continue to be Miss Marvel and Captain Marvel when awakened because the more power that they have, the harder they hit. And Angela, I want to add into that as well. Not exactly for the same reason, but Angela in general is just a tank. And unlike Captain Marvel and uh, Miss Marvel, does not need to be awakened. So how about that? Hey, you see that Satan uh, herself is on that list? Yeah, I'm not talking about her. Let's move on. Okay, so another great champ to auto fight with is Iceman. Because most champs are going to start off with cold snap damage automatically. They're going to lose health. They're going to... Uh, have that go downhill, and maybe if your Iceman's ranked up high enough, before they have a chance to get off many attacks, they'll just die, right? They'll uh, they'll get knocked out. Uh, yes, you've got Bleeders, and if you can stack Bleeds with, with the computer's AI, Wolverine and X-23 are fantastic choices. Archangel, not so much. Um, but yeah, those are the main... Uh, some people tell me, believe it or not, they really like to auto-fight with Nightcrawler. I guess the Evade helps and, and uses some counter. But I... I think if we're basing the discussion off of champs like Iceman to automatically take a crazy amount of damage to start the fight, you can't ever discount Domino. And besides Domino, a great champion to start off with because if they're not going to take much damage at all is Emma Frost. And I believe I have a three-star Emma down here somewhere. There she is. So yeah, Emma Frost. I don't know if Omega Red will necessarily be the best choice because I don't know how close you're going to be, the, the AI is going to be. Maybe you'll dash back, but who knows? Maybe they're a great champ for auto fight as well. Uh, try them out if, you have, if you're lucky enough to have them. So uh, skill champs. I believe for auto fighting, if everything is equal, Korg actually might have more value than Blade. There's a reason why Korg uh, has that Thorns-like damage. And so Korg, when awakened, for sure, is going to be a great auto fight champ to relax because you know he's not going to take a ton of damage. I also want to mention Iron Man Infinity War because I didn't have the chance to to, to do that with the tech. Is a great champ for auto fight because you're not going to take a whole lot of damage and you won't really be able to be stunned too often. So Korg, great champ. Killmonger, great champ as well for auto fighting. Both those champs excel greatly, and uh, those are the ones that I want to focus on. I, I guess Black Panther Civil War might be kind of an honorable mention, but certainly not in the same class as those. And I'm just going to say I'm not going to include Blade in this. And yes, he's probably great, but I want, I want a champion list that doesn't include Blade. Okay, the science class. 
If he is awakened, Fear of the Void is going to be great. If he's low on health, OG Hulk is going to be great. But a champion that I think really excels in auto fight, assuming that their rating is much higher than the champs you're facing, is Electro. Because just like Korg, every time you hit Electro, you're going to take some damage yourself. So, unless you're like a champ like Black Widow, you're going to not really need much. Now, I get that Electro is what they call a glass cannon champion and that his health is pretty small. So, I am assuming that when you're auto fighting and you take in something like a 4,800 rating Electro, you're going to be fighting a 500 rated someone else. But it's just, it's all about causing the most damage quickly and being able to relax. And I get if you want to use up that energy, you don't want to have to think too hard about this. Uh, another great champ is Awaken Luke Cage because you're going to start off the fight as indestructible. So you're not going to take damage and hopefully you are going to be causing damage. I brought up Medusa as an auto blocker. And yes, Modok also gets a fantastic nod in that regard. He will be able to counter the incoming start of the fight if you have it on auto fight and they start to get a combo modok is fantastic so you know we could go on and on and i'm sure there are plenty of champions that you're waiting for me to say of some class that i haven't mentioned but i don't like my videos to be crazy long and this is already over 11 minutes long as i'm looking at my counter so i want to wrap this up but i hope that this gives the average uh summoner a chance to think about champs that they haven't thought about and as i'm staring at this list Rhino is also worth mentioning. Having that uh, unstoppable as soon as he charges and not being able to be countered or intercepted whenever he charges forward is really helpful on auto fight. So yeah, this is a different kind of video, right? I'm not sitting here just saying the usual suspects. There are a few of them like Corvus and Hype and Medusa, but there's also Rhino and Electro and Juggernaut and Unstoppable Colossus and just champs that a lot more people have. And that's awesome. I like doing different kinds of videos and I appreciate everybody who asked that question. The last champ I want to talk about because of the glancing ability, besides Captain America Infinity War, let's focus on Mr. Ant-Man. This champion still deserves and hopefully will get in 2019 a buff but until then, Ant-Man's not going to take as much damage because the critical hits are much less uh, likely to happen with the glancing ability. So there you have it, YouTube. I hope I covered all of the classes as much as possible. My goal was to make this not more than 15 minutes, and I think I'm going to be able to get this in in 13 minutes. So I appreciate everybody who takes the time to listen to every second of the videos that I work really hard to, to get in as much information as possible. Sometimes people say I talk too fast, but you know, your time is precious. You could be watching any video from any content creator on YouTube and you are choosing me. So I don't want to waste your time ever. And I appreciate you listening to my quote unquote words of wisdom for what it's worth. Thanks for watching YouTube. Good luck with your auto fights. Remember to use that energy and get those free units, even if it's just in the beginner and normal difficulties of the monthly quests.